When dealing with an acoustic guitar in a live worship setting, there are a couple things to keep in mind. In this setting, the acoustic guitar is generally nothing more than a percussive instrument. Most worship leaders tend to play their guitars very hard and not very pretty, so you kind of have to deal with this and keep that in mind as you're working on it. Now, if you're in a studio environment, that's a different thing. The guitar player is a lot more focused on playing the guitar, uh, but with a lot of worship leaders, they're more focused on singing and leading the congregation and not necessarily making their guitar sound good. Now, of course, there are some exceptions, um, and those are great when the worship leader actually does play his guitar in a nice, clean way. So with this in mind, um, a lot of times what you're doing is compressing it to control uh, the sometimes erratic playing, and then also trying to take away some of the brash sound of the guitar and taking away some of the mid-range sound that makes the guitar sound cheap. So let's dig in and try that. So we'll pull up the acoustic guitar. We'll turn it up just a little bit. All right, so the first thing we'll do is work on the EQ a little bit. Grab the EQ, and we'll start at our mid-highs, and we'll take some of this away. Now you hear, in this part of the song, the guitar player is really just playing hard. So it's really harsh if I leave this in. So it's not very pleasant, so we'll probably take some of that out. Now, we don't want to overdo it because when he's playing soft, you're missing that. Now, a really common frequency in acoustic guitar that's unpleasant is 1K. So we'll grab our low mid here, make this narrow, and we'll pull some of that out. Now in this case, because he's playing so hard, you might have to take a little more of these upper mids out than you would normally want to, just to make it bearable during the big parts of the song. So I'll let you hear what this 1K sounds like a little more. If I add this, you hear it sounds really bad. So it's usually good to take out some of that. And of course you can sweep around and see if there's another frequency that's better or worse. And you can use the add it, find the bad frequency, and then take it away. So we'll sweep around, find the worst frequency, and then get rid of it. So it might be somewhere around here, around five or 600 hertz. So we'll take this away. Now as you hear during this part, there's not a lot you can do because the player is just killing the guitar. Now if you want to warm the guitar up some, you can add some low, low mid frequencies. We'll turn the shelf off and we'll roll the frequency up around 150, 200 hertz. Let's add some nice warmth to the guitar. Now, you have to be careful with feedback on acoustic guitars. Most of the time, I'll turn the high pass filter on and then roll that up uh, just over 100 hertz. Now, this helps with feedback and it can also help clean things up if you're hearing lots of rumbling in the guitar. Now, if you're doing an acoustic act where it's just acoustic guitar and vocal, then you might not want to put a high pass filter on there because some of those low frequencies can be really pleasant if it's just acoustic guitar and vocal. But with a full band, you'll probably want to get rid of those. So now the next thing we'll do is compress it a bit. So we'll grab our dynamics here, grab our compressor, and we want a pretty aggressive ratio. So I'll go four to one. I want a nice fast attack to start with. And I'll speed my release up a little bit too. So we'll bring your threshold down. now. When you're setting your threshold, you want to set it during the loudest part of the song because that's the one you want to compress. If you're compressing during the quiet part, then you'll really overdo it in the loud part. So we'll turn our compressor on, bring our threshold down while he's playing nice and loud, really get it compressing good. And now sometimes on an acoustic guitar, you'll need to slow your attack down, so we'll wait till he's playing hard again.
me slow this down a little bit. So I'll go all the way fast and let you hear that. So you notice that when he's playing soft, it's still compressing a little bit, but not really very much. And then when he digs in during the loud part, it really starts to compress pretty constantly. So what we'll do now is we'll turn up our output gain a little bit to compensate, to bring those quiet parts up. Maybe go 2 or 3 dB. So now we're maintaining a nice, consistent level. So if we turn this on and off during the quiet part, not much difference. But if we turn it off during the loud part, it gets a lot louder. So during the quiet part, not a huge difference there. And so that's the idea keep the quiet parts at least at the same volume, if not a little louder, but then turn those loud parts down so that they're bearable. So that is acoustic guitar. Now, another tip on acoustic guitar is to pan the acoustic guitar opposite of the hi-hat, because these two things are generally carrying a very similar rhythm. They're usually doing eighth notes. So if you pan them out opposite directions in the mix, you can really create some space in the mix and make it easier to differentiate the hi-hat from the acoustic guitar.